Hello everyone! Can you see what I see? It's a beautiful junk journal book for beginners, for everyone. Everyone can create this book and everyone can have their own real fabulous, inspirational, original uh, junk journal. A journal book made from scraps and made with love. I hope you will enjoy this video. I hope it will be helpful, inspirational. Most definitely it will make you wishing to make your own. So let's do it. It's time to get our junk out and use it. Use your stash, use your leftovers. How many of you have kept music notes, books, old book pages or unfinished projects, leftovers, uh, papers that you have been trying your products and maybe you have some uh, valuable to you uh, elements you received from your friends like this paper bag or you have some beautiful gifts that you uh, wish to include that in your special book junk but yet it could be about memories keeping important things in it it's up to yourself what you will put there get your stuff out and let's make a junk journal together Mm, to start off, uh, I will be definitely using uh, this old book and actually not book itself but the cover of it. As you can see, it's beautiful, a hardcover book, book from a charity shop. Uh, so I feel I will give it a second life to it. What I will do, I will take a knife and I will try to get rid of the inside part of the book and please be very careful of what you're doing. Please watch yourself, watch your hands and just be very careful and gentle to not hurt yourself. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm cutting out the, the inside part. So one part is done and let's do the back as well. I'm just using, you. if you have craft knife, awesome, I don't, I still didn't <laughs> find it. So I'm using just, I, I took from a kitchen some time ago, just a knife that I won't use in the kitchen anymore. And this is what I have. I think I got it before I ever purchased a craft knife. It took me quite long <laughs> to have my craft knife. I don't know, I seems to be just uh, very much, I don't know, not stressing over not owning every single tool that is out there. So this is what we have right now. We taking that out of course we could keep this of course we could use it as a junk journal I oftentimes use uh, old books and old book pages as my uh, as a base for my art journaling but today I would love to show you how to make your own journal from elements pages book pages uh, maps uh, anything that really is special to you or any sort of junk that you kept for years and you didn't know what to do with it we have now uh, this uh, book cover and it's a perfect base for you to glue stick add anything you wish so this is our size and this is the size we'll be roughly aiming for our junk elements and all our signatures to go in there mm, I think I will get rid of this element actually although it's nice but uh, I don't know I think I'm gonna get that away from my book and uh, maybe even leave it as it is but I will definitely find something else to stick there something maybe some nice scrapbook paper <clears throat> I don't mind that this state it's fine it, at least it looks nice here I didn't like the element here so I will find something that will cover maybe halves we shall see with the time I know that I have promised you to show you this type of binding but I thought that I'm not gonna use this as such for a junk journal uh, because it's time consuming, it's easy but it could be troublesome for uh, some of you so I thought I leave it for another video if you don't mind and I will most definitely show you I know you would like to see it so I will uh, I've done it a couple of weeks ago and to be honest I nearly forgot myself how to do it so I wanted to create much easier version uh, where you don't have to have skills and you don't have to worry about sizing and this and that and it's all about imperfection today we will use some masking tape we will use some thread probably and maybe glue and bury it in my Mind. I'm absolutely improvising here. I have watched videos and videos and videos and seen millions way of doing a uh, junk journal and they all amazing uh, but I thought you know what don't plan Marta don't do anything ahead just 
go with the flow as you always do and see what will happen maybe in the meantime when I will be making things we will come up with something uh, strange something new maybe some other ideas I love to go and just not worry and just to try to show uh, different things in life and see if it's difficult if it's manageable maybe we have some problems in between how to solve it so that way you can witness everything I have beautiful gorgeous elements gifts from my friends those are paper bags they know that I love paper bags all sorts of paper bags I love journal on them I have gorgeous tissue paper origami paper uh, a bag uh, from a gift as well and some other paper some elements I would love to use those in my journal because it is a junk journal but because it's junk you can add anything you wish and technically it should be leftovers as cheap as possible so do that use what you have around what leftovers from your scrapbook paper you have or maybe um, maybe magazines whatever works for you let's uh, choose what we would like to put in here and what sort of signatures we will do and how we're gonna manage that uh, size of our pages would be absolutely perfect at, uh, as this uh, this one is my, my half uh, page uh, with the note, music notes so that's what gonna be my reference we will use few signatures and I know that word signatures make you dizzy and it makes you being scared and I've been there I, I have done exactly the same I was like what uh, signatures what's that but if you look closely at the books is this one if you even look at the book that it's here uh, come on camera please be be kind can you see? No, you can't. Of course you can't because the focus is just not there. How will I? What I'm trying to show you, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to show you is that if you really look closely, there are signatures in here, which means there are few elements. Like one signature could consist three pages, five pages, ten pages. It depends on the choice. And they are joined together. That's exactly what we will do uh, today. Uh, we will do signatures. And it's my reference as a main one, as the biggest, because you can go smaller. You can go bigger if you wish and go out over the size of your book. That's fine with me but this will be my maximum reference I would like to keep it uh, in the book so if something is smaller shorter that's fine but I don't want anything bigger I'd like to this stay as it is nicely in the cover we will de decorate the cover as well today I hope mm, so that's basically uh, what we will, will do this is for example unfinished page and I, what I like about it is that it's unfinished but I think it deserves a second life and it deserves to be finished I'm using this thing I don't know what's that, you know that, um, um, yes, <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I'm terrible when it comes to uh, naming stuff, so basically I'm putting things together as you can see, it's up to you whether you will decide to do that way and stick it like this, whatever works for you my friends, so um, if you want to get rid of this, please do, I like it, I like that it looks junky even more and I love that, so next page, let's do the next page and as you can see those are just random pages I have collected from my studio when I was getting ready for this video and I kept them, I kept them, I had no heart to throw it away basically, I had no heart to do that and of course uh, we love our junk, isn't it? and we love keep things and we love to give them second life second chance use it and it's it could be surprising i'm gonna see if this is not too big actually for my uh, book mm, i have to think for how we decorate that it would be interesting it's slightly too big so what i can do is i can i'm not sure if this will cut or not but i will definitely it probably won't because it's uh, this is a, just a very delicate small machine that probably doesn't go that by with two pages but hey well done and you know what I purchased this thing for like five euro I think only without giving much of a thinking will it work or not for five euro I'm gonna chance it and you know what Emily loves it she uses it it's much safer in my eyes than guillotine stuff it's smaller it's yeah it's perfect for a, a child for sure but as you can see it's here I don't have to drag my big one I love my big one don't get me wrong but this is so handy I got it that in case I be traveling to classes and I need to have my own guillotine because I always borrow them from from my students my lovely students they're always in a help <coughs> excuse me as you can see I'm not measuring anything here at all zero and oops, that's okay 
this is that's one probably uh, m m dislike it's that it's a little bit too short it could be slightly longer when we talk about uh, you know like now it just didn't cut but you know what I really don't mind as less stressed you are the better if you think about perfection around you and measuring to the millimeter centimeter zilliliter because of your pages don't relax just do it as your heart says to you if it fits fine who cares that it's <clears throat> a little bit too small or too big yeah you want to do it kind of right way but don't get upset or stressed over it please don't life is too short and you know what with whatever happens recently in telly and and not in telly, sorry, uh, whatever is happening in the world and we had this news of last night in, in Manchester terrible, shocking and do you know what, it actually um, it's actually scary <laughs> because we all um, wish to live in a safe place and we all wish to just enjoy and then you hear these stories and you could you think it could be you or your friend uh, so yeah, just, just sorry um, I'm going to UK next week, so you, you've been th you've uh, to, to to teach, and you've been thinking about million things. As you can see, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm keeping this. I don't mind that it's a leftover for beautiful Seven Dot Studio papers. Some sticker has been sticked here. You've got to get up and try. Exactly, you've got to get up and live. You know, and I leave that, and you can use that paper as well. Um, and stick it so I have kind of uh, nearly like this is one maybe signature this is another one that kind of way and have a look how do you find it is it okay is it too big too small so that's what we have right now I think I'm gonna just move on to my I move this and I put that in here and I would love to use my paper bag as I said and because it's small I don't want to rip it in any sort of way maybe am I able to I could actually isn't it I could actually use it differently and and just have it as the addition to my page for example like this imagine this I just stick that that kind of way so actually opposite so I can stick put something inside there so that's what I'm saying by experimenting today without plan you try to do things maybe differently I'm gonna stick it right here right now as we speak uh, if I find a glue because I have not <laughs> prepared my glue I have it okay so this is my uh, paper bag and this one this paper bag is actually from Japan can you believe that beautiful gorgeous Japan from, uh, paper bag from Japan from Phoebe I'm, uh, I hope Phoebe is watching uh, the video and I hope she can see her beautiful um, beautiful gift this was something was wrapped in that but come on bag itself is just sensational isn't it so I have it there and if it's gonna be you can open like that and close it and you can have some hidden notes I don't know it's just an idea for you to use your signatures differently you don't have to you know do them perfectly this is a beautiful uh, actually beautiful absolutely beautiful um, what you call it letter paper that you can basically write letters and this one is also from Japan and I absolutely would love to have that included in my junk journal that's one of the ideas another thing is the this magazine uh, from newspaper um, page from a magazine so yet again as you can see I'm not really concentrating on how big how small things are I would love to one only thing to keep in mind to not go over too big to my my cover that's it that's it nothing more okay so this could be technically here let's say we have another paper bag which is absolutely gorgeous I love blue okay how beautiful is this I would love to use that in my in my uh, junk journal book basically okay we have that if we keep that what about this this side or here or here actually it's a little bit too big or will I just do it that way let me see I wish to really really keep this and be able to have this what about if can you see you can't sorry I'm just trying to make it small smaller basically and sized to my 
sized to my page that kind of way and I, I'll stick this element basically so I just made it shorter as you can see this is the this is how it is I made it just shorter so I will add glue here mm -hmm. I will add glue here and I will stick that inside my signature uh, why not why not it's really the probably one, again one of the most free way of creating anything. It's your junk journal. It's your book. It's your journal. It's your idea. It's however you wish to have it. Oh, this is kind of unsticking, so I can certainly stick that in as well, so it wouldn't move. And this could be a lovely element when we make a journal page, basically, uh, with this in here. How beautiful. And interesting I like that I really I know I don't like that I absolutely love it so that's what we have you can always open that and decide to do some bit of journaling you can add it stick it whatever you can rip that off if you feel like or you can keep things you know just an idea for you to look at the junk journal not only as a pages pages it could be a hidden something hidden treasures inside here like that beautiful you could do some journal writing here and hide it it's really up to yourself so that's what we have right now so we have two of those and this one is a smaller one we have another beautiful um, bag paper bag they also from Japan Phoebe uh, she she knows very well what I love and she have chosen all the beautiful things uh, to go on to oh I have to I'll use two why not <clears throat> I'm not sticking that yet. This is another one, another paper bag. And this is another one. Maybe we do uh, one of the signature just with the paper bags. Let's see. Let's see how we could do that. And this is a magazine uh, or some sort of brochure from Japan. I would certainly love to add this element. So I'm trying to find the middle and take that out. It's a beautiful because it's Japan writing and it's all different and most certainly I love Japan. I would love to go there one day. Maybe it's possible. Who knows? Uh, so it's nice to use uh, Japan writing. Um, it's just, you know, <laughs> just so different to what we he have here in Europe, isn't it? Okay, so that's what we have. This one is much more delicate signature, if I call it, as you can see. Uh, okay, and what else we have? We have this beautiful origami paper. I haven't opened that. I think I think I have to take it out before I can say anything. Oh my, what a feel to it. This is like... Um, this is like... Oh, the book cover could be, could be done with this. <gasps> Do you know that this is like a meshy? It's, you can see the gold shining through. It's absolutely stunning. Wow! I'm gonna use that as my cover. That's it. Okay, so that's what we have. We have those two together. Let me just uh, keep on going because I worry that you'll be, you'll be bored by now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna basically attach this here. So this will be here and it will be moving if I need to. So, oops. So I'm gonna just add glue. I, I would love you to see that there are such a different ways of doing junk journals and explore your way. Don't, uh, don't be afraid. There's no rules. You can do whichever works, whatever works best for you. And what I love about that is that you can either use junk and have basically use all sorts of things that uh, people don't, don't use, don't keep. I like that. Oh, and this would be here and here. Oh, that would be nice people that uh, basically they they wouldn't maybe use uh, but they kept it so it's nice to just try it okay so as you can see I'm trying to put it together nicely and those are three paper bags what if I'll just leave it like this together <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay it's nice as you can see each page is completely different and we have those paper bags, which I'm thinking maybe there is a maybe there is some other way I can add it to my uh, book, for example. Technically, I could even add that here, um, but no, I will definitely add a more paper, which is <clears throat> which is here, and I make another signature from that. So we're gonna have four signatures. I have all sorts of leftovers here. 
different color books, uh, book uh, papers that I have tried and kept kept interesting, isn't it? I like that because it's interesting, and I think I liked this one. So let's see how we are about those and this one maybe. Mm -hmm. So. Some papers could be too big, some are not. I'll leave it. Let's just put it together nicely. I hope you are grabbing your stash right now and trying to use it. And trying to use what you have, guys. And grab that leftovers, things that you don't know what to do with, packaging. You could add beautiful packaging. And I hope you are doing that with me right now. <coughs> <clears throat> do we have staplers? We do. You can also use your... Why don't we just do like this? You can also use your stapler and just basically... There we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is to add maybe... No, I think I'll stick with the top part. So instead of gluing it, you can basically stapler it. That's another way without gluing and it's there. Awesome. You can journal on top of that only. You can journal on this on this, uh, and make some pages. You can just glue it together and use it as it is. I will definitely be doing some videos on that. Uh, most definitely. I could hear my belly literally rumbling. And yes, I will... I love even the fact that we have the staplers back there. Why not? It's just a such organic pure thing. Okay, so that's together there. And we have one more gorgeous pretty book. Um, I wish to have more of that because this could be our cover, isn't it? Lovely. So what I will do now, I will swap that actually towards inside. And I hope to basically... No, I will... I will open that up for a change if I find my knife. Nah, 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 come on. <laughs> of course I have no knife. I found it. Okay, so I will open that, basically, and just use it as my, as w part of the signature, basically, that kind of way. Okay. So, let me see what we have now. I love the idea of having nearly every page different because that will be challenging when it comes to doing the pages. I think it's a little too big, so what I'm going to do is I will cut it shorter, which are those exactly those. This is inside, this is outside there. So we need to cut those two. And I like that each of them is completely impressed. I am with this little machine. Uh, I'm. I love that each page is completely different. And wow, look at that! How good it is for Fiverr. Oh, sorry. And if you ask, I bought it on, on eBay somewhere. No brand whatsoever. I just, I just chance it. You know, I said, I'll chance it. I give it a try. I'll say it. Sure, why not? And now it's this one is a bit too big. I will make it slightly shorter. Uh, although I said to you, no. I, as you can see, I'm not measuring anything as such. But I think it'd be nice to have this um, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit evenish. Evenish, not, not even. If you know what I mean. Just gently. I don't measure I, I, nothing. I didn't even look. Oh, it's still too big. i rather have it smaller. And why? I don't know. Just no particular reason. Just my reasoning in head. Just, just my feeling towards something. That's it. No rule there. Okay. That's what we have now. Loving it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I love it. Love it. I hope you love it too and I hope you are grabbing your junk papers and your um, tickets, bus tickets or whatever you have around. Okay, 
there we go I love that so much and I love it's every signature is slightly bigger different that's okay it doesn't matter so now the the big question is how we gonna actually how are we gonna actually um, stick that together I don't know let's see let's think what could we do one thing that could be done is we could use our beautiful masking tape beautiful of course it's they're not beautiful but they are very handy and what you could do is basically you could um, open that in half make sure it's in half let's say is it half let me just grab that on the side and where's my clip 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 I don't see a clip let me see I found it so I have that evenish and my next step will be to for example use that masking tape and basically add this and why is this okay first if you're not too sure about sewing and all that stuff uh, you are just fine by basically using your tape don't feel ashamed or anything like that that oh it's not a properly bind it together it is and I always look at it as the interesting element it's really nice addition to my page simply as that and we move on to the next one this is all kept nicely together uh, on the second page so nothing is moving here let me grab my more paint more more of the tape or you can use beautiful <clears throat> tape like this I haven't tried it again it's from Phoebe from my friend from Japan they have sensational things in Japan like the washis are just my new favorite well I love washi I not often use them but I love them and collect them funny enough and look at this washi can you see the size because in my life I have never ever 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 seen washi in the size of like this come on guys <laughs> can you see that because this is like what a what okay so since this is holding nearly it is and da 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 what I will do now is I'm gonna grab that evenly very much put that here and now make sure that this part is what uh, gl glued together and this could be glued by using the gorgeous washi and I don't worry about that I'm I just ripped off my washi look I'm gonna I just because this is extra interest for your page like each time you create a journal page and you and you, you don't mind that it's messy or that it's this or that it's nice because we always look for elements so I think this washi for example it's a nice added element to our page plus if you're using mediums washi you can actually use both look at that uh, okay what you could do is you could use both a uh, washi tape sorry <laughs> no washi tape that's fine that's added element <laughs> <laughs> unplanned added element where she will keep make sure that uh, all the um, um, paints and sprays won't go through in between so why she's actually awesome to use and look you can use both now and just have that like this and also use your washes because I know that many of you have used have purchased washes here and there and there and have hundreds of them and you don't use them you know what I tell you uh, a little story I'm such a I'm no different to you I get things I buy I keep I store it's a waste to use because it's so gorgeous and then recently I found out that some of my washi are dry out and it's a pity because I haven't used them I kept them because I thought they are so amazing and they are but they kept I know that there's some ways of retrieving them and I think as far as I remember uh, one of the ways is to is to actually use uh, is to use what to go to the microwave I think with them point me if I'm wrong I'm happy to hear your opinion how to how to rescue your washi if it's not sticky I think I've heard it that adding um, that putting it in the microwave should work for your washi 
I wonder if it's true. Another, uh, oh, I should show you the other washi that I have. Let me just put that like this. <clears throat> it looks like, a, what you call it, like a wallpaper, isn't it? Beautiful wallpaper, but look at this one. I have one more. And the size, yet again, is massive. And it's beautiful design. Have a look at this, guys. I may actually wash it over my pa my book. That's what I'm gonna do. <gasps> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that washi on top of here and this one. Wow, yes, yes, that's what I will do. So that's what we have. What, this is one of our signature. Ready to rock, ready to go, nothing is moving. We only use washi and masking tape, you know? Nothing is moving, it's all fine. And we could do same exactly thing as we have done with those and that's what I will do or the other thing if it's if it's better I'll show you the other way basically what you will do is I'm showing you both ways and whichever you prefer it's up to you take some something spongy that you can stick your needle into without getting hurt yourself and make sure that this is somehow in the middle or whichever like this kind of way so grab your Grab your um, this, <laughs> grab your this, grab this, and basically poach somewhere um, in the middle. And now, this is the measurement part. If I can only see my measurement machine, even without that, you basically go with your um, needle, huge needle. This needle I got from my dad, and you can have your hole there and there and you grab your uh, this ah where is my English today guys where is my English that's ridiculous grab this grab that use this and that and that thing and this thing and yeah forgive me please so you can basically oops and this is the super easy way oh, it didn't go to the same hole, that's okay but there we go and it's your choice because you can two seconds okay you can for example just stick them like this all of them that's, that's just another way of putting this together that's your interest of your page so basically like a shoelace nothing you know nothing uh, special about it and it is uh, binded together I'm not saying it's perfect because it's just fine but it's binded it's just two holes a thread together so basically you have that and you have your one with the washi you have two more to done I'll do them off the camera and I will, I think, use washi. Mm -hmm. I keep on gluing and I have my next one done. And I thought that, you know what, I absolutely love uh, what's here, but why not add the pretty washi as the addition straight away as just this beautiful element added to my uh, page, to my book, you know, to my pages. So just. Ah, I should take that away because it's not helping me. So basically adding this and it's already pretty with the wash itself. And here I have a few nice washes that I got recently, purchased them. And we have some owls, owls. And they would match nicely since we have a kind of reddish colors around. And look, isn't it fun? <laughs> okay. So you have your start nearly. You nearly broke your pages here just by this. And I think what I love about it is how in unpredictable the whole idea is. How each of your books will look different. And it's so much fun to use what you have. 
and not feel guilty about using things and finally feel good about it about using your stash and about just basically enjoying what you have if you can see the idea of that and as I said it's not the most pretty but the junk journal shouldn't be really pretty I guess uh, when we will do this type of binding which is I keep on looking for things. This one, we do the watercolor paper properly, beautiful binding, and I'll show you how to do it. This one is for my trials of watercolors and all sorts of different uh, mediums and just basically trials. And that's That was the idea. So we will definitely do something like this. I promise you, if you would like to see it, most definitely. Uh, but I have had requests from... Uh, from from you guys to make my own version of junk journal that of course I couldn't say no and there was such a massive response in the cafe that I had to basically I had to basically make the video I meant to do the video at least yesterday and two days ago at least but it was keep on happening something important and important and important so for that reason I couldn't really do it uh, but today I'm delighted I'm doing it finally look it's pretty already isn't it and you don't have to get dirty with the glue and have glue with hands and all you can just enjoy sticking and putting this together and making the nice texture and interest already to your paper to your pages so that's that's this one and we could add something nice here right here we go there's such a choice on the market of washes that it's unbelievable, actually. Unbelievable. Beautiful washes of all sorts. If you don't like your, uh, this thing, the, 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 yeah. Today, it's the, this thing, uh, this thing, and, uh, I don't know, I can't concentrate. Is this whatever happens uh, in the world the last day? I don't know, it's for some reason it's just my mind is, of course it's here, but it's just, uh, maybe I'm getting nervous over my flight to, not flight, my trip to, to UK to teach. I'm always so nervous. By the way, I will be teaching, the UK classes are a long time ago sold out, uh, but uh, with the three teachers retreat, but I will be, my last trip for now, planned, as I don't plan anymore, uh, is in Scotland, if any of you wish to find out more please go to handmade at Helen's uh, Helen Anderson is the owner of the shop and she is a host and she invited me so Helen from Scotland is the lady to go to oops um, or you can find you can message me ask for more details but basically I'll be teaching four beautiful mixed media workshops there and it'd be nice to see for yourself uh, what what's that gonna be about basically I think I'm kind of done with this and it's time to time to put it together my signatures are ready so I have one two three oops three the smaller one and four signatures uh, they are fitting absolutely perfectly here as you can see and since uh, it's four we have to uh, attach this now um, one idea is to basically glue everything. Basically just put a lot of glue here. I've seen using tacky glue, magic medium. Uh, you can use that and you can most definitely uh, just basically glue your uh, things inside here. Stick, hold it like that, put it some sort of clip for, for, for a day and it would work. But I think I would really love to do the sewing way but in a very simple easy way okay nothing too complicated so what we will need now is we need to see uh, how big is this it's and divide that in four sections so we will need something to write actually flip around it will be much easy much easier to do and I'm gonna only looking at this part, not those two wider, only here I want. So this element is what I will be, oops, excuse me, what I will be dividing. And that is literally one and a half divide by four. Um, roughly, roughly, let's say if this will be one, if this will be one, 
two and three oh maybe like here and here and here and here roughly divide that into four one two three four and I'm gonna do same same here it's just a rough sketch one two three four and here one two three four it's not perfect I didn't use much of the this machine thing now where is our big needle it's here what we need now is we need to press and make holes with a needle make those four since we have four signatures we need four rows in our spine here there we go that's kind of it that's how it looks you can make four if you wish so it's up to you let's see I can make four one two three and four approximately relax <laughs> so same thing really uh, should happen with our with our uh, signature and now the easiest way will be to basically put that in since this is our first one put that in and this is here this is here this is here and this is here so this is my can you see let's let me bring that closer to you I can see my battery is running low it can disconnect in a second I have four of those here and I have one two three four holes in here oops so my next step will be to move that on the side take my my signature and poke the holes basically so when you will be really uh, putting that together make sure you know where is your <laughs> this thing when you will be po poking uh, your holes oh not that easy actually I need some help okay you can use the tools I know that people are using them kind of tools for poking I don't have that so as you can see I'm just using my regular uh, and why is that so hard to go I wonder is that because of the how thick is the paper I believe so but you will manage you know you will manage guys so don't worry so we have the holes here four holes let me show you mm -hmm. there we go can you see and now we need to this is quite dirty now from our ah because it's the washi and the and the um, yeah the washi and the the other tape there that's why <laughs> so our step I wish to have our uh, our bows and stuff outside of my journal journal actually I would love to keep that outside so let's try and let's see maybe I have not enough holes maybe I have maybe it should be not even number I honestly don't know we go with the flow and we see we will see how this will be basically so I'm gonna have that back on and this and since it, this one is my first one my first one I will add this into my into my uh, s my signature here I think three would be enough I could be wrong but I think three would be enough but anyway let's keep on doing and we, we will see if we needed the three holes or four only a uh, three only or four okay we have that in so I believe so we need to go back here oops did it move or what okay I have it now as you can see it's this one so we are looking at this one uh, first kind of line because it's like one one signature second third and fourth signature so the first one on the line here are for our first signature and this is what we will be doing I poke that so this should go nicely coming through as longer the thread the more difficult it will be of course okay and here it is <clears throat> now we should kind of start putting that 
together in terms of making sure that this is stretched enough that it holds. So what we could do for example now, either we could leave it as it is, well basically I have to cut that maybe because this this is making me now, uh, I don't know which thread is which, so this is what we have. This one is our our one okay I hope you can follow I hope it's fine so basically now what's the next step if it's this one this one next one is this one right and I'm going here I'm trying to look now for my uh, next third hole in the in the journal and it is moving still but I haven't I haven't stretched anything as such yet so maybe that's how it is for now anyway and I go back, as you can see, to my to my other hole, and I'm going back to. Can you see? Let me show you. I want to make sure that you will see it, because many of you have said, I know that there are plenty videos already on on them, but we would love to see your process. So, guys, bear it with me. I hope you can see it. As you can see, we have one hole, second, third, and the fourth one now. Um. Okay be very gentle guys be very careful with that because it's sharp and and so on and so on okay we have it so what we have now i'm just gonna hold it right here what we have now it's very much nicely stretched and attached first signature of our page of our book sorry and we have space for third fourth and f uh, <laughs> for second third and fourth and Question is what to do with this and I'm thinking what would be nice if we actually What we could do once it's stretched properly We could basically do a bow or oh I know what would be nice. Let me let me show you It could be nice that we just go under here Let's just experiment and see if I'm correct here go under here Mm. I know this one is without needle but the string is big enough to lift it and to be able to I can't lift it maybe this will help me yeah there we go so we kind of attaching this even more and now I hope you got that idea what I've done so I basically went back here went back here and voila put that on like this make sure check it inside if it's stretched enough if it's fine if it's working for you but if it's not stretched too much that's okay as well but it, mine is quite good I have to say which is nice so this is what we have now and I would imagine to make this strong um, um, <laughs> not loop, I don't know, you know what I mean and I would leave it for now, why? because I, w I wish to do something with those strings so what I'm gonna do is I will basically do my other signatures and I get back to you mm, right here I have my second one done and as you can see oh, don't go as you can see I have four in place so I'm gonna stretch that right now and I will make sure that it's all nicely stretched and I can basically start putting the elements together and have my have my okay don't mind this one because this one it's too close don't mind this one because this one is from my previous one and I should keep that wait there and you know what I have an idea what I'm gonna do because it's actually tangling too much look if you will just do like this I keep it long for now because I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe I'm gonna do a plait or something <laughs> ponytail I don't know so I'm gonna just basically stick that here so that way it will not be uh, mixed up with the rest of the world here okay there we go and make sure that it's stretched as you can see, this is my one. Um, not what I've noticed because it was added the uh, lots of washi and all. I have a feeling that all of that was kind of somehow for some strange reason um, 
felt like it was stronger but maybe it's just my impression I don't know so make sure that this is all nice and stretched and then we do exactly the same thing which is I'll show you from up close so I'm lifting that middle one it's easy you don't have to do it you can even you can even tie it let me put it you can even tie it as it is just like that just put that together just tie it as it is and it would be fine absolutely fine I'm only extra uh, adding this to extra protection nothing more there's not no nothing uh, more than protect and have that more in place but you know what it's really not that important I just felt like it so I've done it so I will keep on doing the rest and that way we're gonna have those nice lines on the the whole edge uh, the spine rather than the only the in the middle that kind of idea was in my head that's what we have so oops <laughs> oopsie that's it that is again coming here to me and go back I don't want this to be disturbing me for two seconds okay Okay, that's what we have. Go stay up. Now the charity uh, books from charity or books that you have old books at home are great to use that because you have fabulous uh, t thick um, base for your card thick uh, not base. What's the word? Uh, cover. So that's a great idea. So that's what we have right now. As you can see, there we go. I'm gonna yet again put all of that together in one in one go maybe what I'll do is I will hide that in here how nice trick is this there we go <laughs> wow how beautiful is this now wow I love it wow you know what this is gonna be it yeah let me finish the rest but I love I love this. Wow. Wow. Okay. Easy. It's easy to please me. <laughs> As you can see, I love so many simple, easy th stuff, you know. I, the fancy things, nah. <laughs> Just do simple. Okay, we have two done. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. So let's do it. I hope you are. Uh, I hope you are doing it as well. And as you can see it's really easy just take your time and when it's done I do hope it's gonna be very satisfying when it's done and dusted and we'll be just enjoying seeing it also let's do it yes make sure that you do those those um, those put it put it in the middle roughly in the middle and make sure that you have your your dots yes can you see I'm gonna bring that closer guys for you so you have those dots in the middle for poking the holes in your signature and again if it's not super perfect overall it will be perfect so relax and just don't be stressed over that this is very um, this one was very delicate paper so uh, of course it's kind of not so even here but I really really don't mind and it's nice with the washi now it's the washi is definitely keeping this all together now, now and there we go so I went through the hall and we go back in here there we go go back go back I want to make sure that this is here still and this one is back here look at your second one that is gonna be here can you see where is one? Yeah, and then second will be here, which is here. Okay. Don't make too many signatures for for the beginning. I think it would be just nice. Stick with uh, option that it's achievable. Don't go with million pages. No, three signatures will be plenty. Do two signatures. Make one signature. You know. So just be easy on yourself. Be be really easy on yourself. Don't don't give yourself too much trouble to start with because many times I see as well that we are heading 
Mm, my battery died in the meantime. I have no idea what I was saying and what you have heard. I'm not coming back. But what I'm trying to say is that make sure that you're not gonna do too many of the signatures and too big project for yourself because then many of you is given up in halfway down and you just decide, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm uh, uh, no. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. It's too much trouble because you have done so much trouble for yourself. Stick with one signature, maybe two, maybe three. I've done four because I just had. Many Maybe not that many in the signature itself. I had only two, three, four pages. Uh, but that way, uh, when you are, uh, you see, I have that done. When you are having less, uh, you want to make sure that it's kind of filled in nicely, you know. So you, that's why I have four. But if your signature will be thicker, then you're not gonna have to worry about. I'm lifting that, and I'm gonna try to squeeze that, squeeze that under. You're not gonna have to worry about how big and thick it is. Plus, make sure you leave some room because if we'll be adding some 3D elements to your pages uh, when you will be doing your journal book and all sorts of like die cuts or mm, mm, or what you call it, the modeling paste, this will all of course make it th even thicker. So make sure that... Oh, you know what? Look what I just realized. This This knot is here. This knot is here, so I'm gonna make this knot actually here. So that way, don't move, please don't. So that way, when I will be adding my strings in front of my book, it's gonna be in few directions. Can you see what I mean? Hee <laughs> hee! And you know what? I love this now. I am in love with it. I don't mind what's written here. You can wipe it off, you can paint it all over. I'll just have it, Musgrave, <laughs> I don't mind that. Um, okay, one more left to go, guys. And the fourth one is done. And again, what I will do, I'm gonna make sure that my knot is on one other interesting edge so it will just spread nicely on my cover in different directions, the string will be in different directions, yes. I am quite pleased with it, to not say I'm delighted with it because I have done that with you. I've seen so many sort of binding ways of tutorials of all sorts of and I always felt that one is uh, one is great, another is great, but I just never felt like I really, wa after watching that, I just felt so awkward and difficult in a way. So I hope this was easy enough for you to see. The video is definitely long, I can only s sense it that it's gonna be long because I'm very taking much time, I'm taking much time for you to be able to show you everything and not speed anything and out cl up close and all. So I hope this is this is helpful. So that's what we have left, our string, as you can see from in, in the middle now. What you could do is, you could basically add some dingly 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 things or you could just use it as I'm thinking to use it, like this and do something with it. I don't know yet, but before I would love to check this. Let me see this. As I said that I will decorate it with the tissue, with the, um, um, with the, ah, say that Marta properly, washi tape. Sorry for the da da da. Okay, either we go for this direction or this direction. Hmm, I think this one. This one. Mm hmm We do this way, and you know what, I will actually <coughs> cut that nicely, since it's a cover, and I hope to be able to make that evenish. Mm. Marta is concentrating, that's why it's so quiet and this is a good thing to use so all the air, air bubbles are off away I, I'm happy to do this here I'm not sure if we're able to get rid of that pay that no but it's okay it's okay I'll just leave it as it is and it's fine 
okay I love that oh my god how simple and clever and do you know like I love the simple ideas and I love that we can just basically I don't know what I'm just experimenting guys now thinking out loud no none of that works any good to me I love the idea of having this here question is can I attach it um, you know can I attach this maybe I just attach this here on the back and leave it just like this and that's it you know and that's it maybe I'll do that maybe I should do that so I have my washi delicate uh, um, I have my string very delicate run through the book and it's there which I love and it's nice and delicate oh I'm thinking I could add beads in here <laughs> but basically this doesn't didn't change uh, much of a shape so that's what I wanted to keep but I think st I still think it should be something here I'm missing something here paper flowers from um, from Michael's in States I had I have been sent this by my friend Rain oh um, I should have a big shout out today for a beautiful help that I have from my three girls in the cafe Patricia, Anya and Rain thank you so much girls for all you do for me and especially recently when I had such a but day or two and I was just having quite a hard moment when you're doubting yourself and when you're just not too sure and when you see others doing things that you not really necessarily agree with and it just makes you sad so uh, they were like really huge support to me so I do thank you girls more than you know for being around for sticking with me <laughs> okay it's good to have friends, even if they online friends, because how many times online friends had been bigger support than those who are near us? You know, I don't have to say that many of us have felt that probably. I love that. I'm not too sure about the whole idea of... Because I worry that we don't see much of the... of the That it's too patterny here. Because if we stick just with... Okay, one last chance. Please don't think I'm mad. Okay? And don't think I'm wasting a product. Or maybe just leave this. Have like that. Like that. Oh, that's better. You know, it was just too much. That's it. Too much, too crowdy, too something. Uh-huh. Now I feel it. Most definitely, I feel this one. No, I have added. I thought it would be nice, but the idea is great, but not for this particular project. So, um, but I have another idea. I think I have it. I think I have my perfect composition, and I am gonna stick this as it is. I love what I see, and I'm not gonna try to make it any better. I love that. So, I'm gonna enjoy what I see now. I love that. Now this is the tricky one because I would love as I said the string to be somehow nicely like this if it's possible. Okay I probably should use glue gun or something to make this more sticky. Uh, I may do that off, off camera at this just to be sure and add this uh, glue gun hot glue I mean that's actually sticking pretty well so maybe don't worry too much okay <laughs> I like that something else in the meantime I lift that part and added a tiny smaller washi here because I felt maybe this is exactly what I was missing this little tiny amount of washi here that was just not doing it and now I do feel that my cover is definitely uh, looking like finished to me and I absolutely love and adore what I see uh, I have this chipboard I'm not convinced if it's gonna match but 
since it's it, since it's a junk journal uh, oops I just broke it did I no <laughs> it felt like I did but I didn't it felt like now there we go look how small things can make a difference how much of a small thing can make a difference thoughts because this is a junk journal my thoughts in it whoa there is a little gluey thing on the back but I'm gonna definitely glue that with my uh, glue gun most definitely what about the inside part what about if we will actually use our washi and go with the idea of just basically adding that let me just cut some elements and it doesn't have to be precise or perfect again I think if I start and play with the papers I'm just gonna be I think the washi subject to be continued here will be just nice I think so I really do think so let's see if I'm right or wrong or perhaps <laughs> and maybe let's do like this something like that I'm lucky with having a big wash like this but maybe you do have some oh that could go nicely maybe you do have some sort of similar washi around I don't know maybe you do or maybe maybe not maybe similar or maybe the same or maybe smaller maybe you have so many that you'd be glad to actually use them in a different fresh way look that's nice even though things are on top of each other that's absolutely fine okay let's grab another element and just make that nice I love the idea of using the wash in a really new way because um, well I didn't discover this way I'm just saying that for me it's quite new unusual to use this I would probably go for a paper but you know no I think it's nice as it is and interesting and you say oh it's a waste of product why uh, what else can you, can you do oh it's my postman if you heard it two seconds guys yes uh, the postman and some a little parcel and a fresh cappuccino with marshmallows and sprinkled chocolate or cocoa I don't know and we are nearly there this video is gonna be enormous long uh, but I hope you it was good enough for your understanding and for giving you courage to try and to believe that actually actually I can do that kind of thing I can and I don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to get a journal I can try and do my own <coughs> with what I have and decorate that as well with what you have I, it, I'm only giving you examples I'm ne I never say you have to do it that way or that way no there are so many other ways of doing things and I appreciate others coming up with their own so most definitely take what's best for you what feels best for you and yeah and that's it okay <laughs> I cannot believe it oh you've done it we've done it thank you so much guys it's done and dusted our junk journal you can do something here you don't have to it's up to yourself and here is here is how it looks here it is with a little um, with a little pouch here and oops I just moved my treat it's as you can see everything thing holds perfectly even the one that was uh, sewn that sticked with the washi so it's up to you washi seems to be uh, just um, I think for lazy more people if I call it I'm the lazy one many times I go easy way so washi seems to be nice our way as well plus it holds uh, from going through the uh, leaking with the medium so as you can see it's really beautiful and you can do it however you feel use whatever you have and enjoy it I promise you I'll do that later on I promise you to definitely go back to this journal book and the junk journal uh, and make pages inside and do some simple things exercise most definitely you will find things on my Instagram Maremi small art on Instagram link will be below the video uh, most definitely because I, I 
share and post uh, all sorts of inspirations there not everything is on YouTube so if you are looking uh, for some inspiration if you're curious go and have a look all the links provided below the video easy and uh, quite fast I would say and most definitely original and so very special because it's ours we made it uh, we made it with love and that's most important thing if it was inspirational and you made your own please share it with me tag me on your photo I would love to see your make uh, it's a big pleasure for me to see your art your crafts and your ideas after watching my videos I always love seeing that hashtag Maremi small art much appreciated so guys this is it I will finish it that hope that you will let me know what you think let me know I would love to hear as always from you uh, thank you and till the next time bye bye bye